this is Susan from Alkaline Water Plus. I am going to do a little experiment between our uh, pH drops in the small bottle that we sell and the pH drops in the bigger bottle. Um, just to see which one's more accurate, we're going to test it against our meter. So um, let me pour, I'm going to pour the same amount of water in each glass from the same flow rate. So we have everything's the same. I'm using a, this uh, eighth of a cup measuring tool here so that we're close to the same amount here. Okay. Oh. You ready for that one? Okay. Um, so we're going to put three drops into this one. And use our little um, color chart here. I'm going to say that it's a 10.5, about a 10.5, and this one has a color chart on the uh, bottle and also one that came in the bag. Both of them are the same. Now this looks like a darker purple, it's purple, the same it's very similar color, if you want to look, but this one is darker the, the, from the bigger bottle. So let's use our chart here. Now that looks like a nine, because it's a really dark purple. Looks like a nine. All right. And let me grab the pH meter. Stick it in here. Okay, so looks like it's a ten point seven pH on our pH meter. So, looks like the P, the uh, the test strip or the uh, the smaller bottle was more accurate. As a note, just so you, because I noticed this while I was doing this, that the color charts are slightly different. So that might be where the difference lies. But in either case, you will be less confused if you get the smaller bottle than if you get the bigger bottle and try and fix it. So anyway, um, and if you want to read more about pH drops, you can read our blog that goes along with this video.